Welcome people, um, Anand again. So this video I'm gonna start some new videos of uh, an angular material. So some of my viewers just requested on the angular material. So, um, so let's see how we will build some cool stuff with angular material. So as you're already aware of it, like you know, this is the angular material uh, official website. Uh, so we can see the components. So these are the list of components. So today I'm gonna look on the input component so how to write a um, like input text like a basic input so um, so this is a page and if I see the API over here this is the API reference for the angular material input so we need to import this math input module from the angular material input uh, so before to do that we need to do some stuff uh, like the guides so this is the getting started guides so that these are the steps that step one to install the angular material and angular CDK and angular animations so I already did this uh, npm install dot dot uh, sorry dash dash save angular material and angular CDK and angular animation so this step will install these uh, modules from the node package manager website and then will save the uh, the module names into the package.json so that's what it does so if you use npm you need to follow this step if you use yarn then you need to follow this the other stuff there is another alternative way to do the same stuff using the snapshot build but they recommend please do not use this snapshot so I, I did not use this snapshot so that's the some stuff and then uh, there is an another alternative too with the angular dev kit so if you use this angular cli you can simply use the ng add angular material and you need to configure these animations like you know we need to import this browser animation module from the angular platform browser animation module and then you need to import this browser animation module to your uh, page and if you want to disable the animation you need to import the noop animations module and once you did all the stuff, the step three is to import the components. For example, if you want to use a material button, you need to import the material button module. If you want to uh, use the material checkbox, then you need to import the material checkbox module from the Angular material. So once you import, you need to import the same uh, module in the ng module as well. Alternatively, you can create a separate ng module then imports all of the angular material components so and then you need to imp uh, include a theme the theme is nothing but a css file which you need to install uh, you know import inside your style.css and um, you may need to import some hammer.js uh, in order to support some gesture support so these are the stuff you need to do once you did everything we are good we can start so i already did all the stuff um, in my project and then my project is this one over here um, let me show you my project so this is the project I created has h2o so this is using angular material plus prime phases but in this um, video I'm just going to talk about the angular material so you can see um, a different modules over here I created like in you know, a login module JSON get h2o contact has provide h2o and all the stuff and then um, if you look this styles.css this is where i'm using the angular material css i'm also using the prime mg um, css but never mind those stuff i'm i'm not going to talk about that so our focus is just to talk about the including the angular material theme so we include it into the style.css as css so that it will be available all across our application and then if you go to the app module which is the main uh, it's kind of a main module for the entire application so you can see over here uh, we have imported the browser animation module from the angular platform platform browser animations and then the same stuff has been imported in the imports and once we import it you can see over here I have imported some of the angular material uh, modules or components like you know I have imported the material input module 
um, like material button module, material divider module, material date picker, material native date module, something like that. So it's not only just importing over here, you need to import into the, your ng module as well. So you can see the same Im inputs imports over here. So these are like sidebar models, all the stuff. So this is the one thing. The next one is the app component. You can see over here, this is the app component HTML I just created. So this is using a plain header and this header uses a ng4 from the items. So this items is nothing but the actual TypeScript file, the component file over here. So this is the items and the items I have created, I send the items as label as login and icon as some f uh, blah 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 and then router link as login so same stuff like you know you can see login about us contact us buy sell and all the stuff so this is the typescript component file and this is the template what we are using so this is we are just you know um, iterating these items array as item and then we are calling the label over here and the router link over here so router link i'm using the angular router so um, I hope you know about the Angular router. If not, I will do a separate video for that. So just never mind about all this. So we are just doing this do like you know in for loop. So this will keep on printing. It will read the label and then it will keep on printing the um, the specific button over and over again. So this is kind of header again, and uh, we have this router auto configure. Okay. So that's the thing, I already made it over here and uh, let's run the project. So to run the project, you need to run this ng serve. So I want to tell here, um, I believe you already set up all your Angular projects on your local. So then you can watch this one. Otherwise you can watch my other videos in my same channel, how to start an Angular material application with the Angular JS or Angular 6 or whatever. So it's building right now. Okay, so it's compiled successfully. Let's go to the browser. The default port number is 4240. Let's launch it. Here we go. So you can see over here, we can see the header. This is the header actually. Let me inspect. So you can see this is the header as I mentioned, and this header is keep on printing these labels as whatever the thing I have written over there. It's just printing over here. So if you want to see over here, this is sell, it says like on page, buy, it's a contact us, this is about us, and this is login. So you can see over here login, I just created like you know two input text input fields and then uh, if I click sign up it will show a pop-up window like this um, so again these stuff are input fields so this is a password field this is an email address it's a mobile number something like that so if you want to see this one like you know if I click login so you can see over here in the URL is login so this is to do with the angular router so whenever a login URL identified over here so what it will do here if you if you go to the angular router routing module so you can see over here if you see login then the component will be login component and uh, if you want to see where is the login component the login component is under login and then login dot component so it's under login and login dot component and if you see this login dot component it the template URL for this is login dot component dot html and the style URL is login.component.scss and the selector is app-login and uh, if, if you want to see this one so this is where we have written all this stuff so you can see over here there's a username and this is the password and then you can see this is a material form field and this is the input type and this is like a material material input so so in order to use this stuff, we already imported this stuff over here. You can see the material form field module and material input module from here. So this is where we can use the Angular material components in our project. So 
and uh, you can see the there are two buttons one is the material for the login button the other one is the sign up button as you are able to see over here this is the login and this is the sign up and then this button is material rice button so if you want to see the material rice button we all imported this in order to use this we, we need to use it so this is the material button module so the same material button module has been imported in the ng module as well so that it, it will be visible all across the application and uh, if you come back again so this is the sign up page so you can see over here if i click sign up button the visible sidebar equal to true so for the for the sidebar i'm using angular uh, prime mg faces so this is one more um, ui framework or ui library for angular so what i used over here is the sidebar in the prime uh, prime ng so so I, I use this this sidebar sidebar so that's why you're seeing so i'm just using like mix of angular material plus prime mg so wherever i need angular material i'm using angular material wherever i need like you know um uh the prime mg i'm using so this this pop-up window is a prime ng but these items are like you know angular material so that's how we create our page and uh, you can see over here this is a material divider um if you go over here let me show that what is that so you can see over here this is the um where is that? divider this is the layout as divider so you can see this ruler like a line so this is a material divider so in order to use this one you need to import this model material or mat divider module so the same stuff over here if you go to the app module dot j dot ts you will see the same uh, material mat, mat divider module got imported and the same mat divider module has been imported from the angular material so this is how we we use this divider over here and this is the logo I just created from online for free for my application uh, so that's it folks so uh, and uh, this specific page is purely using prime ng so this is nothing to do with the angular material so i'm using like combination of prime ng and angular material in my application so thanks for watching uh, so i will start doing some more examples on the button chips icons progress spinner progress bar ripples and all the stuff thank you very much for watching